After finishing the mission Priority Citadel and boarding the Normandy for the first time, when you first approach Specialist Trainer, she informs you that Admiral Hackett wants you to investigate a Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Use the galaxy map to travel to Sigurd's Cradle System. You'll land at the Relay in Skepsis. Scan next to the planet Watson, then scan the planet using the white pointer for guidance. Highlight the white dot and launch a probe to recover the War Asset Javelin Missile Launchers, which is worth 50 points. The other resource is found near the exit to the Decorus system, which is just fuel. You should grab this on your way back out if you haven't used any fuel yet. Exit Skepsis and fly across to Decorus. Scan the planet Lena and launch a probe to recover 10,000 credits. The other resource is found here, and it's another fuel wreckage. By leaving the other one behind, you can grab this to replenish what you used, and then recover the second one on your way out to leave the system at full capacity. Now fly over to Sanctum, enter orbit, and land on the planet. Please insert disc 2. Hackett asks you to investigate the lab and recover some samples. This is the map Glacier from Multiplayer. When you first enter the lab, you'll find a handful of troopers to clear out. There's a single shielded centurion who likes to throw smoke, but he shouldn't prove too much of a challenge for your party, and clearing these out should only take a minute. Your first task is to activate an artifact, but take the time now to run around and gather everything this place has to offer. In the center room, there's a console worth 4,000 credits. Head back to the area where you first came in, which is to the right if you're now facing the shuttle. There's another console here worth 3,000 credits. Then turn around, and in the corner on the ground is a sniper enhanced scope mod. There's a med station nearby which you can gather for some credits, but you may want to keep this around in case you need to replace a heal in the coming battles. Around the next corner is a journal entry which you can access to read some of the lore behind the lab and earn some experience. Go ahead and head back towards the first console, but straight across from you there's a room with skeleton holograms. Grab the failed Medigel experiment. This is for a side quest back at the Citadel, which will gain you another war asset. If you finish this mission and did not pick up the Medigel, you can buy it later from the Spectre Supply. On the lower level, there's another journal entry in the corner for more experience. Wrapping around back to where you landed, which is left if you're facing the shuttle, there's a third console to recover worth 3,000 credits. When you're done looking around, head back to the central room and activate the containment bypass. When the timer runs out, grab the Reaper artifact well, to continue the mission and earn some experience. Yes, we found it. Got the sample. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. Run back to the shuttle and turn in the artifact by activating the drop-off location. You'll be notified of the location of the second artifact, however the path will be guarded by more enemies. You'll have more shielded centurions, troopers, and now engineers. They're shielded, but not too difficult on their own. They do lay down turrets though, which can hurt you quickly on higher difficulties if you're not paying attention. You'll have two engineers and two turrets to take care of. Once everything is dead, head back downstairs to bypass the second console. This time, when the timer is counting down, troopers drop in right on top of you. You'll have to hold off multiple waves of enemies until the shuttle can land again. There's troopers, centurions, and more engineers in each area of the map. Once the shuttle lands, work your way back to the docking area, which has more enemies and turrets guarding it. After killing everything, enter the shuttle to complete the mission. You'll gain 5 reputation points and 10,000 credits. Also, if you check your war assets, you'll see the 50 points you earned for the javelin missiles and another 50 points for the research data that you collected during this mission. As for the failed Metagel experiment you collected, you do turn this in to Dr. Raven at the Citadel. She won't be there until after you completed the main story quest Priority Palavin, so make sure that's done before wasting a trip back to the Citadel. Turning in the gel gains you 30 experience, 1000 credits, and more war asset points. Your next N7 mission will be available during the main mission Turian Platoon. I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching.